Hey everyone, Pastor Jason here with the Bartlett United Methodist Church and our final episode of Three Minute Methodism. Do you know this little rhyme? Here's the church, here's the steeple. Open the doors and it must be a holiday weekend. Let's try that again. Here's the church, here's the steeple. Open the doors and see all the people. There they are. You know, I remember learning that little ditty at a very young age. And it is cute, but one thing that it made me think for the longest time is that the church is just a place. That the church is simply a building. And while we might call a place or a building a church, they're far from what the church truly is. So what is it? That's a good question. And a good topic with which to conclude today on Three Minute Methodism. Like many Christians, United Methodists affirm that the church isn't just a house of worship or any kind of structure. The church, according to scripture, is Jesus's body. The church is Jesus' presence here on earth. And how is Jesus made present? Well, through those who follow him. Jesus is made present through you and through me. The church, in other words, is the people, those who are connected to one another in worship, in mission, and in nurture. But what makes United Methodists unique is the emphasis that we place on this concept of connection. You see, for John Wesley, both religion and holiness are inherently social in nature, meaning that we can't go solo in either regard. I mean, we do practice individual or personal means of grace, like prayer and Bible study and healthy living and doing good. Our collective experiences promote growth, not only personally, but for the community. And in so doing, equip us and mobilize us to live our ministries and our service to the world. But for United Methodists, the church doesn't exist only within a congregation. Every congregation is connected to every other congregation in accountability, in faith, and in service to our global witness so that as the body of Christ, we bring the light of love and justice and redemption to wherever it's needed. So maybe that little rhyme is deeper than I thought because when the church is as it should be, you see the people connected, together, hands open, joined in love of God and neighbor. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for sticking around and learning with me. Stay holy, my friends.